Okay, let's cover vitamin K. Uh, the last of the vitamins in the series that I'm going to present today, uh, let's talk about vitamin K. And it actually has a really good clinical tie-in that we can incorporate. I'm going to surprise you later on, save all the suspense, so that way you don't uh, close this right away. Hopefully. So let's talk about the basics of vitamin K. There's really not much to say other than it's fat soluble. Uh, remember, if you've been paying attention, you could probably list them all by now, probably with your eyes closed. Uh, but for those who are just tuned in to vitamin K, uh, the fat soluble vitamins are going to be vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, and vitamin K. A D E K. A D E K. Main function of vitamin K. Uh, Kind of a, a long explanation here. It adds a carboxylic acid group to a glutamate amino acid. What does this mean? Well, you're going to ultimately produce a gamma carboxy glutamate residue. Um, what this is, is this residue is going to bind up the calcium ions in the body. That binding to calcium uh, combined with that residue is going to induce a clot, the vitamin K clot dependent factors to bind to endothelium. And I might have that later. Yeah, here we go. Um, I kind of incorporated that here. Uh, and this is where a clinical tie in comes in. Sorry I didn't leave it too much of a surprise. But, uh, but warfarin. Warfarin and vitamin K go hand in hand. So let's, let's talk about uh, kind of a little background first. So V. K -O -R, vitamin K epoxide reductase. This is going to be an enzyme that converts vitamin K to a more reduced form of vitamin K. And that's actually what's going to be uh, involved in gamma carboxylation. And I'm going to go back really quick uh, right here. Vitamin K itself doesn't add a carboxylic acid group to glutamate. It's going to be this more reduced form that's going to provide, uh, provide this residue product. So Warfarin is going to convert vitamin K to the form that actually can do the gamma carboxylation. And uh, so if you get rid of this VKOR enzyme, you're going to have uh, no clotting ability. So that's, that's how warfarin works. Warfarin is typically thought as, of as a blood thinner um, where your blood isn't going to coagulate to, to clot as easily. And that's the function of warfarin. And this is why this is going to happen, because that why is going to be tested on boards, on tests, and any other uh, important reasoning quiz. So uh, the glutamate is going to be deficient, so you're not going to have that glutamate residue. I'm going to back up a little more again. You're not going to have that gamma carboxyl glutamate residue, so it can't bind the calcium ions, which is necessary for clotting. So, and I listed here, thus the clotting factors can't bind to the endothelium of the blood vessels, and then you would uh, initiate your coagulation cascade. You just can't do that when you have this vitamin K epoxide reductase knocked out. So that's warfarin knocks out that VKOR enzyme. Uh, here are some of your vitamin K dependent clotting factors. Factor two, factor seven, factor nine, and factor 10 protein C and protein S. Uh, if I was a test writer, I would write a test question based on that bullet point. 2, 7, 9, 10, C and S. Something to just brute force memorize, but I promise you that that will be a test question whether, you, whether you're at the college level, maybe high school, that might be a little deep for high school, uh, medical level, that is a testable question. And then uh, all of those factors, the 27910CS, those all require the carboxylation of the glutamate to form that residue, which will bind to calcium, ultimately leading to clotting. Here's uh, where I found some of my information. The rest of it was gleamed from my medical school education. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Otherwise, what I'm going to do is I'm going to present a table and try and use as many buzzwords. I think the most I left it at was uh, five words per vitamin and just gleaning the most important information. So stay tuned for that.